Hello, welcome back. Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the dies from Sweetest Time. And I used this candy cane and that candy cane. I also used the um, holly, which I've cut out, the fern bit, which I've cut out, and the berries. I've just got to cut the canes out. I'm also using uh, the ovals, layering dies, and I've got to cut out this oval. And I've also used just some dies of my own, and these are just label dies, and I'm going to use that die. You obviously can use whatever label dies you want. That's the one I'm choosing to use. Cardstock, I have got a holly leaf. Let's put them to one side. Right, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half and burnished. I have a white piece of card at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have a real red piece of card which I've already embossed with this embossing folder, just snowflakes, and I've embossed two thirds of it. It's got gold glitter on it for some reason. And that's real red, and that measures three and three quarters by five and a half. Just sit on top. I've also got some of the plaid designer series paper from the Christmas catalogue, and that measures five and a half by one and a half by five and a half, and that will sit on the edge. I've used a different design this time. That one I just used the. Um, crumb cake one and this one I've used with the crumb cake and the garden green and I think it's cherry cobbler but I don't have any cherry cobbler card stock left so before I forget I am going to glue this down straight away before I stick the red piece on because when I made the first card I um, forgot to stick this on until afterwards so I want to do that right now that's it on and that will sit on there like that let's move this out of the way now right I've got some scraps of Red, white, and crumb cake. So let's get cutting. No, let's stick these down. And then we'll get cutting. The only bit of glue we've got is the sentiment. with a nice border each side and then stick this on top of the red Stick a piece of card on the inside. Did I do anything in that? Oh, I did. Bright and peaceful. Don't know where I got that from. I can stamp on it afterwards. Right, 
Right. Now we will get to go do some cutting. So I've got my cutting plates and I want a piece of crumb cake. Now this only just fits on this plate. Right. Bring over my sidekick and cut that out. There's my oval. Get rid of that. Put this back. So if I don't put it back, I'll lose it. Right, now then, need to cut the canes. And we need to cut uh, four of each. I haven't got any cut, so you're going to have to bear with me while we cut them out. Now I can cut two like this. Should have done these before. But never mind. Get them out afterwards. Do it again. all the mess together. The reason we're cutting out four is because we're extending them. I want them to be longer candy canes. So to extend them, you obviously need um, two of each. Right, last one. Or last set, should I say. sentiment to cut out yet yeah, but we'll do that in a minute. Right. I'm just going to push this to the side and we'll poke out the rest of these bits out of here.
that one's done. It was the same two that don't want to come out. Right. Now then, what we need to do is place two that way. Like that. And then two this way. So you've got to turn a white one back to front and the red ones back to front. One, two each. Like that. And we should stick them down. And just put a smidgen of glue. On them. Obviously, doing it off camera is no. Another one down. Definitely should have done this. At least two of them before I came on camera. Right now, to extend them, what I did was I counted up five lines there and place that just below the five lines and stuck that on like that. So we'll do that. Just a bit of glue on the bottom. And stick that on like that. And you see that extends it. And then we chop off the hook and there we have our extended candy cane I'm going to do the same with this one and put that on there dropped it Dried one, two, three, four, five. Right. 
right down. Stick that down and cut off the hook. And there we have our um, candy canes extended. Oh, I did. Right, we're going to glue these on the oval. At an angle, and then we're going to cross them over. Now we have to hold that up down, and then to hide the joins, we're going to add our um, holly leaves, which we just add like that. In fact, I am only going to put on two holly leaves on this one because I thought the four on here was just a bit too much and I think the two is just enough. So that's what I'm going to do. I've also got a bit of fern here which I'm going to add on top of the holly leaves. No, underneath. But one on the top and one on the bottom. Like that. So let's just glue this one to the bottom and Right, when I attach these I start a mini dimensional at the top. And some glue at the bottom. I'll start that over the crossover like that, and then I start the mini. berries on the top like that. and then we stick all this on dimensionals oh I've run out Use the edge. Just put my lid on the glue. Right, and then we just pop that in the middle on there like that. That look nice. Right now we have to stamp the sentiment. I've got a piece of white here. But big enough no, I'll use this. I've got Merry Christmas. Like I've been using. Oh, this one's a smaller one. This one come out of an old, old stamp set. Merry Pattern. And I've used in that Merry Christmas. I 
I will make a Christmas card where I'm not making using the word Merry Christmas. I'll use a different green or sentiment. And that will go right across there. Bring that back. Bring this back. that with a bit of tape and run it through the And those are nicely stitched sentiment. Right, we want dimensionals. just going to glue that straight. Right, all we'll have to do is add some gems. So I'm going to put one there, one there, and one there. All in a straight line, or straightish line. dots of glues were a bit big but lucky enough this does dry clear so that is my card hope you like it if you do good thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe um, if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.